Okay, hello everybody, I'm Gaff from Masterline 74, back again today playing some more Spyro 3 Reignited. Now, I have to make a little bit of a confession, I don't think that I'm going to be doing my completionist playthrough of this game before I go back to university. This is the night before I have to go back, and I haven't even beaten the second world yet, the second home world. So, I really doubt my chances to beat this. There's still all of the third homeworld worlds and the fourth homeworld worlds to do and it's taken me something like four or five hours just to get to the point I'm at now um, and I don't have four or five hours sadly so what I'll try and do is do as much as I conceivably can and then the playthrough might have to uh, just go on a little bit of a, hi a hiatus because the fact of the matter is this is on the PS4 Pro that my brother has, not on my PS4 that I'll be taking to uh, my university accommodation. So, either I use something like PS Plus to transfer the save over to my PS4 so I continue to do the playthrough while I'm at this university accommodation, or I wait until like a week from the day of this recording, which is the... 21st of September and go from there basically uh, it's only induction stuff to begin with for the first week so it's nothing too intensive so I should be able to get some uh, stuff done in terms of like gaming and all that in this first week and then everything after that is probably a bit more uh, hectic shall we say but we did the super spoopy swamp last time and now we're going to be moving on to the bamboo terrace now i have a sneaky feeling that we need to use a character which we don't have at this stage in order to beat this stage that's just a chair making noises so i really don't have anything else to say other than i'll try and play through this as best i can in order to uh, you know, make the most progress before I have to head back to university for um, another year. My fourth year, my final year as it were, so I've really got to start, you know, putting my foot down in terms of, uh, you know, giving a damn Spyro. about it. Rhinox have been harassing us all day. The workers haven't been able to harvest the bamboo needed for the whirly gig to take you to evening late. The whirly gig? We tried asking them to leave. But there's no reasoning with them. Nah, I don't think there would be. So yeah. How about I set you on fire, bitch? Ah, oh, okay, someone's running off. What's the chances we got a lot of light all of these like bamboo sticks on fire for a skill point or something? Let's just verify, shall we? Um oh and it's frozen altars, so that's third world. So yeah, that's uh yeah, that's that. So, okay, fair enough. There, so that's the skill points. Um, doesn't look like there's any in this uh, world, so there's nothing to worry about from my point of view. All I've got to try and do is get the eggs and get all the gems, and then I should be good. Should be in the operative word, of course. See, because you never know for stuff like that. Though that gem I should have got might not have counted. As bad as that is to say. Uh, I'm gonna say that ever since uh, when I first played this there was a gem that was supposed to spawn and it didn't and I spent so much time trying to figure out where it would have been and just you know I couldn't find it until I had to go back into the level and it's like oh you killed an enemy and he had a gem but you didn't even see it spawn when you killed him the first time around so it's, it, it's stuff like that I'm gonna keep referencing that because that's so bad when that happens um, I could have easily missed that too gem there you never know but yeah we got Dwight the dragon egg saved him so so it's got a little scratch on my nose there poor cry baby but we got 61 eggs so I think that's pretty good I mean we still got you know two more home worlds to complete so it's probably a good 130 eggs or something to get in the game so if they're all like that then I have nothing to worry about but there's no guarantee that that's the case and that extended the drawbridge down for us 
to be able to progress over to the other side. Now, I don't think there's any way up there necessarily until we get a swirly, I think, a sort of swirly thing. Or we just have to glide over from going over this way. So I'm just going to have to keep my eyes peeled. And, oh god. No, I'll say as well, this I am playing this on uh, my brother's PS4 Pro. And this is actually 720 60 quality. I just fucked up there, that was awful. Uh, but this is 720 60 quality, and you see how it is like dropping frames. So that's bad that Spyro 3 Reignited is causing the PS4 Pro to drop frames <laughs> when it's at 720. Oh, come on, that's bullshit. How was I supposed to know I spawn on the platform? How was I supposed to know that? I only walked like two steps and I died instantly. What the fuck game? Come on, don't do that shit. I was expecting to spawn on land, like over to my right, not there. Fucking assholes, man. At least I, I, and I've got to extend the drawbridge again because uh, it didn't save it. That's bullshit, man. I, I should have landed there. And I, I said to uh, my brother in the last part when I was playing this, I think I have this tendency to press triangle to hover too early in this game. I don't think I did it in the other Spyro games previously, um, but I seem to be pressing the triangle button when it's you know, at the worst time, because I think I'm going to miss it otherwise. So then I overcompensate a little bit and then it's like, well, you just end up dying because of that. But we got Madison. Ah, oh, fail. Okay, whatever. But cool, we've got 62 eggs now. That, those are two relatively straightforward eggs, I must be honest. And there's bound to be some more bullshit that we have to do though, so... Like, go underwater here, for instance. Yeah, see, most people probably would have forgotten that you can go in the water at this stage and... You know, you can miss all these gems. So I guess for future reference, gems on the ground look like that. So if you see, you know, there's obviously stuff on the ground then you know that that's what the gem is, but I say that sometimes you don't know if you've missed gems and they're underwater or not, so it's just gotta play it very, very carefully and cautiously. So another video recording sadly, not live streams. Uh, mostly because I don't want to be trying to play this game and get ridiculed by chat and stuff like that and it's like, nah, I just want to play this game and try to enjoy it as best I can, but also have the challenge of doing a completionist playthrough on my first playthrough of it, like, ever. Um, I didn't even finish, or at least get an ending to um, Spyro 3 on PS1, so this is, like, the first, the first time I'm trying to actually beat this game. But my brother is on standby for assistance if... I feel like I need it, which I probably do. Um, oh, there's someone here. Let's entertain them. Oh, sing, sing. The emergency escape bridge. Why didn't I think of it sooner? I shall activate it right away. Ah, oh dear, you idiot. But that's that. That should extend to the beginning of the stage, and that's this person we would saved. Be honored if you would accept this as a token of our appreciation. Okay. Oh, we got Tom. Yeah, that is this person. So if you want to go through a regular playthrough, then this isn't too bad. But uh, of course, going for the completionist playthrough, you got a lot more to uh, keep in mind and keep on top of. You gotta get up there. It's one of those pots that uh, once you when, you know flame it, it disappears, and you gotta uh, figure out where it's gone. I'm not gonna be able to reach you from this position, though. I'm telling you that right now. Ah, uh, what's this? What, exactly as I expected. To all explorers, there is no yeti here, and there never was. He was just a myth, as far as you know, the sorceress. So that's a guy by the name of Bentley. We'll be saving him, believe it or not, in the third homeworld when I get to it later on in the playthrough. Uh, spoilers, I know, but uh, just something to keep in mind. But yeah, to be able to beat this stage, as I suspected, you do need to unlock Bentley. So it's probably a good one or two eggs in that stage so I'm not gonna be able to beat this fully they look creepy don't they it just didn't really move at all and barely blinked and it's just like yeah that's a bit a bit suspicious there pandas because that's what they're supposed to be right 
Hopefully not Kung Fu Pandas, but you know. You never know. No, I'm gonna get you, Fee. I'm gonna get you. I should have got him there. You can go up there if we really wanted to. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Gotta cut the corners. I'm gonna get you. Okay, not gonna get you there, but. Yeah, I'll try and get this Fee, and then I'll try and, uh see what that other area was because it seems like that's everything I can oh, there's the pots, I might as well get the pots I don't want to be go backtracking and all that, that's like that. I know where that is I know where that is, it's why it's over yonder this way and then that's back there yeah, so now we're heading backwards to like the beginning of the stage right now that's right behind the door right here well, left here, I should say. Like so. And that is right at the beginning. So then once we get this, it should be um, a pile of gems that come out the end. And that's the that, that's the reward that we get for doing this. It's a whole bunch of gems. Hey, what's this? Bottled Curiosity Trophy unlocked. I guarantee that was to uh, destroy that vase in this uh, stage. So as you, should, as you should see, I get I'm getting most of the level specific trophies by doing this, but um, there are some trophies that I am missing. I was gonna say I should have got him there. We got Pee Wee, Pee Wee Herman. We saved him. Dork. And he's a bit of an idiot if he thinks he's gonna catch his tail when he isn't. But yeah, I I was gonna say if I missed him, I was gonna bitch and moan and say yeah we should have got that. I should have got that guy, but. Uh, I didn't. Oh, that's a bit bad. There's actually gems in the water here, and you can't even see them. So I just make sure I've got all those, which I should have. And then I'll head down this way and see what's uh, in here, because I think I've got all the gems in this outline area. I really don't think I've missed any, if the truth be told. So there's most likely going to be a ton of gems in the Bentley area, which we can't do at this stage. But uh, we got this to do, though. Please help us, Spyro. My friends are trying to go home after a long shift in the fields. Those rotten Rhinox keep knocking them down. Can you save the panda workers? Oh no! Really? You bet. Please hop aboard. Make sure to toast the Rhinox, but not my friends. Great. So at least we get infinite uh, flame ability here. That's what that means. But uh, I don't know if we get aim or. Okay, we get aim, so we gotta take out the Rhinox, but not the people. So it's important that we try and take out all the Rhinox up top before um, the pandas get there. So just concentrating. I don't, I don't want to jinx myself. I'm not gonna say it just yet. Maybe I'll say it afterwards. Oh no, I hit someone. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sure you would succeed if you were to try again. Please help us, Spyro. My friends are trying yeah, to Yeah, it's just the same thing. Please hop aboard. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean to do that. That was me trying to flame them up a little bit too much just so I could uh, be sure that I was uh, going to do it. And I guarantee there's like a second stage to this as well. But yeah, it's like you're turning and you have to turn your aim as well, so it's very easy to miss. And I don't want to, you know, think I've hit someone and go on to the next target and I actually missed. You know, so I've just got to play it a bit more carefully. You think you'd shoot through the building, but you can't do it. See, like that, for instance, I could have slightly missed and hurt one of the allies instead. But you can shoot through that part of the building, just not the other bit. Okay. And there's one guy who's right over here at the very end. And I think that should be it. Unless they're going to say there's guys in the middle over here. I got everyone. Oh, there's guys up top. <sighs> Fuck you. I didn't know that was going to fall from the sky as well, so now I've got to do all that over again because I thought I was going to miss the guy and I hit the I, I hit him and then it, it hit the person I didn't want to hit, so... This is a load of bullshit, it really is. I thought the people up top would be saved for a second egg, not the first egg. 
So that's bullshit game design right there. You shouldn't be leading players on like that. That's not right. So try and go for the least fireball run possible so you don't end up hitting people that you're not supposed to. I don't know why you can't shoot through that little bit. It's a bit weird. You can shoot through this bit. Just not the other bit. That's a bit awkward. If you ask me. So I thought if I hit this guy over here, then that would be it. But it turns out there's actually guys that are coming from the sky. So now I've got to keep an eye at the guys that are going to come from up here. Look, they just teleport out of nowhere. Should have hit him. Uh, is there any other guys coming from the sky? Because if there is, I can't see you. Oh, there's a guy there. Okay, I hit him. That's good. It's bound to be one more. One more set like that, and that's it. So there they are, look. Just a little too low. But got him. Yeah, that's it. Will bring you good luck. Okay, that's good. We got Rusty. I was a little rusty right there, but I've never done this before, so how was I supposed to know? Is that like tier two or something, or is that it? Oh, okay. Wait. Would you like to try some of this bamboo? It tastes great. No, so I don't have anything to say. Uh, check the guidebook real quick. We got 70%, 301 gems. Seems a little off. But, of course, Smash to the Mountain Top is something for Bentley, and we don't have Bentley at this stage. So, we're going to have to come back later on in the playthrough. I didn't think we had five eggs there. It felt like four, but um, turns out I have five. So, that's it. I think that is as much of this level as I can do at this stage. I don't think I've missed any gems whatsoever. I really don't think I have. I, it seems... Fishy, there's 199 gems in the Bentley area, but we have to see when I come back to that later on in the playthrough. I've actually got to go back to the first world and play a stage with Sergeant Bird. But I don't know if I'll leave that at the end, or do it whenever. But uh, we're currently at part 3 of the playthrough, and I want to get to the third home world. But we've still got another speedway to do, believe it or not. So there's the Whirly Gig. Let's head on over to the Whirly Gig. That you teleport over to the Whirly Geek, by the way, but that's what you need to be able to progress to the third home world. But we're not going to do that just yet. I've got the speedway to do, and there's a hunter stage hidden within the speedway as well. So not only do we have to beat a time trial, we've got to win a race, and then go ahead and get a uh, hunter level done as well. But this is the country speedway, I believe. So yeah, I've got a, I would show it, but no, I don't want to give the code away, but my brother's been kind enough to dig out a one month PS Plus trial for me to use, uh, mostly so I can play with him cooperatively in games when I'm away at university. So these are the famous racing grounds known as Country Speedway, they offer two challenges here, a timed obstacle course and a race against the local speed champions. Which challenge would you like to play? Let's do the time attack first, and then we've got to race the biplanes. Here's a hint, try completing each challenge in order. Start with the rings, then go for the tractors, the cows, and save the planes for last. It's the fastest way, it might not be the fastest way, but it's the easiest, something like that. I mean, who does Spyro think he is? Superman? Oh god, what was it after? Was it the, 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 the tractors? We're supposed to get the tractors next. Uh, you might think this is a bit stupid but uh, I find it's best to try and head in the opposite direction than where they're coming from but as you saw there because the controls are so shit I actually ended up missing a couple of the, uh, the tractors there so that's not really my fault and that loses precious time uh, now we've got to try and go for the cows and I'm pretty sure Sp Spark said leave the uh, body planes till last and they're over this way and again, try and go in the opposite direction. Because then when you're trying to, to gain on them, you're just not going to be able to do it. I don't even know where they're coming from. No, they're coming from this way. So that should have killed him. 
that killed him. Oh, they're, they're, they're peak pilots as well, they're DSP pilots. So yeah, I fucked up like, I fucked up big time there, that wasn't supposed to happen. God, now I've got to go around like that, and now I've got to, nah, fuck you, die. You deserve it. You absolutely deserve it when you do not what I tell you to, you choose not to. I didn't tell you to miss the guy, and I didn't tell you to fly around the guy you're supposed to flame like a fucking idiot. That's your fault, not mine. You missed, I didn't. I told you exactly what to do, and you fucking didn't do it, you so fuck you. It doesn't help that the control soap's hypersensitive as well. So just a slight tap makes you fly, like, ridiculously far away from where you want to go. And the flame hitboxes are different as well, because I should have hit the planes and they just didn't hit for some reason, didn't register the hits. So, I don't know where they come from necessarily, you know. So, okay. So, you saw that bullshit, I flamed the plane and he just went up and around like a fucking I didn't, I didn't tell him to do that, he did it by himself. He chose to miss like a fucking man. See, so he should have done it. Now he better fucking hit this guy. Okay, fucking hit the guy. Five and a half seconds left. That's as good as I'm getting. Thank God for that. We did it. Right. So that's that done. Just did with. That was so amazing that everyone in the farmyard got together to buy you this as a reward. Gavin. Gavin free the egg. Can't fly just yet, mate. Which challenge would you like to play? We can race the biplanes next. While well, the flying pigs are raring to go, let's get started. You'll have to fly through all of the green checkpoint rings in order. Use the red dots to help guide you away. So that's what we've got to do here. We've got to fly through all of the uh, the blue stars here to help us. There's no way I was going to see that. Uh, and I think, the yeah, you get red ones as well. And they temporarily slow down the competition so that is helpful um, just to be able to gain on uh, whoever's in a place that's higher than where you are but I hope I didn't need that first uh, or that second blue ring in order to uh, progress forwards oh it's like this one you gotta go down here to hit this and... I you saw that I actually hit the ring and it did nothing it didn't give me a speed boost whatsoever and again hit something that I wasn't supposed to hit. Now I gotta turn like crazy. I turned like crazy and he did nothing. He fucking did nothing. Okay, whatever. Fuck you. And he missed! He fucking missed! What bullshit. Absolute bullshit. I didn't do that. You see that 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 cable right there that that PS4 controller's plugged into is now crooked. I don't even know where the controller's gone. Well, it's by the way, I really don't know. Oh, it's down here. But that's bullshit. He fucked it up, not me. He fucked it up. So he totally deserves a the fail there, not me. And somehow I got a rocket racer, and I don't even know what the hell that was for. But it's probably to hit so many stars in this uh, in this race. At least the controller still kind of works, but still, that, that should not have happened. I went through the fucking ring. You can play the video back. I went through the ring. The wings of redemption. I went fucking through the ring, and the game's like, Oh, no, you didn't. We're fucking he has game developers. Whoa, we said we miss it. Fuck you. I went through the ring, fair and square, and won the race. You cannot say I missed the ring. I hit the ring perfectly to cut inside of it to go in front of the person that cheaply took first place off of me. And you're going to sit there and say that I... And, and you're going to say that's deserved when I fucking hit nothing. That's deserved. Yeah, I can't even hit the two ring bonus now. See, all I did was cut on the inside like that, and the game's saying I missed it by a country mile when I didn't. Again, fucking game developers. Game developers, no way I'll hit that. How about you just increase the hitbox? Well, is it increase the hitbox in that case? 
basically make it so I don't get clipped on shit like that, because that, that's completely undeserved. It's completely undeserved, man. Look at this bullshit. Fuck you. F get away from me. Jesus Christ almighty. What a bullshit game development. Now I've got to fire that rocket to hit that guy. I've got to go down here and pull up. And go down this way. And then go down. And I said go down, not go middle. Fucking idiot. God, it'd be beneficial if you actually did what I told you to, seriously. See, like that, for instance, all I told you to do was that. I can't believe you fucked it up that bad. Jesus Christ, man. And now I've got to really work hard to try and get into first place now, because this game fucked me really bad. And that's not my fault. You might say it is, but it really isn't. See, it's like this. you got to get these two to then get this one here. And then go down here like that. See, that's the one thing I told you guys to do. Is to cut that corner like that to make it. And then somehow this out of nowhere somehow gain, gains on me. And it's like, come on, man. And now you made me waste the, the rocket. And you made me miss the speed boost as well. Like, come on, man. Right, he didn't fuck that up. That's good. That's a good sign. He didn't fuck that up. But I'm not playing this passive, you know. I've got to play it active. Okay, here we go. Fucking done it. Fucking done it. Fuck you, you shit game. Fuck you. Fuck you. First place. You're a pretty fancy flyer. We got Shemp. Yeah, now there's a cable coming out the, the back as well. I'm not even kidding, that's probably the second cable like that I've actually broken due to shitty games. Um, I don't know which one we're supposed to do. We can do the time attack or race the planes, but there's basically Hunter lying around somewhere. So we've got to try and figure out where Hunter is. Now the thing is, I do need this cable because uh, it's the only way to charge PS4 controllers. And it said at the end of the previous part that uh, my controller was running low on battery. So... If I can figure out where Hunter is, then we can get where to go on the next uh, the next thing that we're supposed to do. Now it could be somewhere where you're not supposed to uh, to go on the track. I mean, I don't want to like go over here and then the game's going to say, "Oh, you missed the uh, thing that you're supposed to get." I don't know how this game's going to work it, but you know, I'm trying my best to land up top here and he's not doing it. But you never know where Hunter's going to be. It could be anywhere. Oh, okay, fuck you. I'll do the time attack instead, you fucking shit game. There's no way that classified as a fail. Fucking So where's Hunter going to be, I wonder? I mean, at least it's not counting down the time now, so we should be able to find where he is relatively easily. Is he over here? No, he's not. I'm, I'm trying to look over the stage to see where he's at. I'm not really seeing him anywhere. U-turn. Down here. Nope. Hmm. Where is Hunt Ass at? I mean, he could be up in here, you never know. I I am not seeing Hunter anymore unless he's in here. He's in here. Haha, ha, I found him. Spyro! You're not gonna believe this, but there are sheep saucers and space cows all over the place. Sheep saucers? Space cows? We gotta uh, we gotta stop him. I'm gonna strap on my jetpack and blast some space cows. Yeah, whatever you say, man. Look out, cows! Here I come! Yeah, whatever. Okay, it seems relatively straightforward so far. I think I don't don't quote me on this. I think these guys might have been in um Enter the Dragonfly because I do remember my brother playing it and seeing like these animals. Unless they were in Spyro 2, which they could have been in Spyro 2. But um definitely get I'm getting a 
vibes from Enter the Dragonfly. Which I only say because my brother's been... He actually recently beat that. Um, it seems like if you go for a certain ending in the game... Oh god, don't... Don't... don't okay. But it's going for a particular ending and it seems like the normal ending you were... Uh, it's not very exciting, but once you get the 100% ending, then that's uh, that, that's where things get a little interesting. Hit the guy. I think I just about hit those, even though the cursor was going all over the place. Don't ask me how I did that. But yeah, so... And my brother's also gone ahead and beat um, the, the Wrath of Cortex, Crash Bandicoot. That great game. See that should hit him. That 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 went right. That 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 aim went wide right over him. And poor guy didn't see shit. Did I, did I do it first try? We got the last one just before he abducted this egg. Oh, we did it first try. We're Burso. Yeah. And he's in a bubble as well. Three out three eggs. Um, I think I did it, so I'm going to quit. Just kicking back while you're doing all that one. Yeah, we got to go. I think I did everything, as I really got interrupted because the cable fell out. I really don't think I missed anything there. I should have gotten everything. I, forgot, I didn't catch how many gems I got there. But uh, that was bullshit, man. That really pissed me off how I fucking run the race and the game's going to say, oh, no, you missed the ring because you cut the corner too fine. You know, that's bullshit, man. That really is. That pissed me off. I had to throw my fucking controller at my fan, which is already busted for me throwing my controller at it. You know, because that really fucking pissed me off just there. Um, but yeah, Country Speedway, 100%. We got all the gems and we got all the eggs. We can't do Bamboo Terrace because we need Bentley. I think we've got all of the uh, skill points thus far. So we can't do the Sparks level because we need to beat the second boss by getting onto the Whirly Gig right here. And there we go. So now we can go to the Evening Lake, I believe. That's where we need to go to. And that's it. One small step for Dragon. Whatever. But I guess that's two. And that's a gold trophy, by the way, as well. But I believe this is to get onto the Whirly Gig to go into the Evening Lake territory area. Now we can go towards beating the homeworld, getting all the gems and eggs that lie around, and then, you know, rescue Bentley you and all that. Bumbling, idiotic, worthless, worthless. I asked you to carry out one simple task, and you fail me. I should have known better than to rely on a child. But don't worry about it. I'll deal with them now. Oh dear. These eggs can't be worth all this trouble. Without the dragons, the magic in this world will wither away. Without magic, I'll die. And so will your ever slim chance of becoming a sorceress. Hmm. Now, watch how a real sorceress dispatches her enemies. Oh, look at it, it's Bentley. Release me from this cage, you merciless miscreants! How would you like some dragon for lunch? Oh, he wants it. <laughs> well, if I had my club, you'd all be in for... Uh... Oh, he ain't gonna mess with that. Oh dear. How is he going to get out of there? <laughs> How is he going to get out of that mess? Seriously, like without ripping the place apart. Oh, it's a video game, don't question it. Hey, it's Sergeant Bird. My tactical instincts told me the sorceress would attack you here, so I flew in to help out. It seems my rocket launchers don't affect this creature, but I can assist you by dropping ammunition. Now get in there and fight the good fight. Okay. So it seems as if we can't do anything to this thing. But we gotta try and get over here. Oh come on, that's just about me. Seriously? I got... Oh, okay, I don't think I got hit by that. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, unless he gets that. Or destroys it or whatever. 
Oh, for the hit me there. Okay, so I am supposed to hit him with that. It just wasn't working for some reason. Oh, a nice screw move there. Yeah, that much I know how to do. I remember like that thing. Oh no, you don't. It's like a super flame power up or something. Okay. One thing I have to give credit uh, in Spyro 3 is that you don't actually have to go for, uh, you know, flawless runs in boss fights. You did in Spyro 2. But now in Spyro 3. No dragon for lunch today. We got Monique. We saved Monique. So that's good, that's, unless there is like secret skill points for flawless in the boss series, but uh, there isn't, I would know, my brother would have told me, but we've got 100% level complete, and we're getting on the whirly gig to proceed to the third homeworld, third out of four, which is Evening Lake, before we get to the final world, and that's where you can confront the final boss, and then go back to the start of the game and get uh, all of the other gems and eggs that we missed early on and play the sparks levels as well which should be interesting but this is where the questionable toto comes in i don't know how much of this i'm going to play i guarantee i want to beat the home world and rescue bensley but i don't know how many of the levels i'm going to play so that's just something to uh, keep in mind ladies and gentlemen but i do have memories of this place and now we have a uh, bianca again Lot swooshing on him. Listen to me, Dragon. Spyro, this is serious now. The sorceress is planning a trap for you, and if she catches you, believe me, you don't want to know what she's going to do. Look, I promise to take good care of the rest of the eggs. I mean it. Just take Hunter and go back home before. before. I can't say it. Just go. Hmm. So Bianca's starting to sound a little uh, sympathetic, shall we say. A little soft. Hey, wait, 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 stay here. I never I never said to go into the whirly gig. What the hell are you talking about, game? What, like, what are you thinking? I didn't say that. Ah, it's the rocket ship. Yes, but uh, we can't use the rocket just yet because we gotta find the peeps and save the peeps. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we gotta make sure we get all of the uh, the gems in that first, and all the eggs. So one thing we can do is go over this way because there's ladders, and ladders means we can go up or down. I mean, who doesn't know how to use the ladder? It's a ladder. Like seriously, real talk, dude. And it turns out this is where a sparks level is. So Zoe's gonna say there uh, that, that she's got an important sparks mission to do, but that's for later. And we got Hannah, we saved Hannah. Nice. Nice. Oh, we, I, I, I didn't comment on the fact I had 69 eggs right there, but now we don't. So that was a missed opportunity. So sorry, ladies and gentlemen, for missing out on such a, uh, a, a wonderful opportunity to make a joke, and I didn't. Frozen Altars, I think that's the first level we're supposed to play. There is a skill point in that level from what I remember seeing. So we can always go for that if necessary, though. I think this is the area that I think it is. Yes, it is exactly what I think it is. This is uh, Bentley, ladies and gentlemen, we saw from the cutscene earlier. So let's see what DSP Moneybags has to say to us the now. The sorceress has a real prize on her hands here. It took two dozen Rhinox to capture this dim-witted furball. So you'd better believe he's not going to get out cheap. 1,000 gems? Fuck it, why not? Where are you getting all this money, Spyro? A small cost to bear. It's not just lying around on the ground, is it? It is lying around. Is it? Ah, what do I care? It's mine now. Yeah, whatever. Bentley's outpost. 
are the first rejuvenating breath of freedom. With the humility of a wounded sparrow, I genuflect to my noble deliverer. Uh, it was no big deal, dude. Yes! <clears throat> After all, it was I who let you out. Why, you brazenly avaricious, duplicitous, larcenous ursine! Now hold on! Oh, ouch. One more, perhaps? At least. Yeah, whack! That's what you deserve, you idiot. Please do afford me the sublime honor of enjoying your visitation in the nearest future. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So Bentley is very appreciative, very literate, shall we say. An intelligent creature. Well, Moneybags there was saying that, it, you know, Bentley is a complete dumbass, essentially. Uh, using quite impressive vocabulary, if I say so myself. So, more impressive than I would ever use in my life, let me tell you. You know, unless I wanted to sound like a prat, as it were. A presumptuous idiot, or whatever. Whatever words you want to use, we can charge through here. And guess what, there's another egg. Yeah, another egg. This time we got Stooby. It's close to being Scooby Dude. <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't realise um, that was going to be a little pun until after I said it, Scooby Dudes. No, Scooby Doo, but there's Stooby instead, so you can't really do a Skooks joke or whatever. Such a shame, really. Could have broke out my swaggy impression from the Vine Source, uh, you know, Scooby Doo classic Creep Capers corruption video, which is absolutely amazing. One of my favourites of all time, by the way. Just love the impressions and the it's spooky in here, you know, just classic. Absolutely classic. I like it. So, I guess it's an acquired taste. Like a Cursed Farms, uh, with Freeman's Mind and Ross's Game Dungeon. It's good stuff to check out, I would uh, recommend it wholeheartedly. But, uh, you know, most people probably won't like it. Because in today's day and age, it's all about being uh, drama filled and controversial and stuff like that. Uh, maybe some of the views expressed in this playthrough would be uh, somewhat controversial, shall we say. But you know what? That's a raw, honest reaction to some bullshit that was going on in the game. Uh, but you know what? It is what it is. It's all in the past now. I don't want to, you know, remember it, shall we say. Unless someone does a montage of the uh, the playthrough and it becomes popular or whatever, but I don't think it would. That's just me being me though, of course. I think we do need to get inside this thing. So we gotta... Oh no, watch out! Ah! Oh, you got eaten, boy. We got Jonah. My name is Jonah. Okay, we did it. So that's two eggs or something like that. So now we get coughed out. Blech. Nasty. They say dragons taste nice, but they taste like ass, dude. <laughs> uh, I believe that there is another area to go to. We gotta actually get up there somehow. Because uh, we can get up top. So how do we do that exactly? Well, we gotta go down and go out this way. Um, and then work our way around, see, because uh, there's bound to be an egg there. And of course there's all these gems as well. I can't even hit this because the hit detection and the control is so bad. Hey, Zoe. Hi again, Spyro. This power-up can make you invincible, but only for a short while. Use it to get by these flame spitters. You'll find an egg when you get past them. Oh, okay, that's good. But yeah, we need to uh, go through and work our way over here. So yeah, that's like invincibility. We've got Stuart. Oops. It's, now that this is damaged, it's just going to pop out really easily. It's just like the other one I have, where it just doesn't plug in at all because it's like at this skewed angle. And you can blame me for that, ladies and gentlemen. I did get pissed off to play this. Uh, I didn't think Spyro Reignited Trilogy would break uh, or damage a cable that bad, but you know what, it has. 
just shows you how um, it gets to me when stuff doesn't go my way, you know what I'm saying? Like, I let it uh, affect me personally, and I guess I shouldn't, but you know, at the end of the day, I have to set myself to a certain standard, and I try my best, man. But uh, sometimes you just don't perform, and you know, you have to react in a in an emotional way to it. But um, I think there's only a small number of gems left in this homeworld. A good 20. I, I think there is another area you can go to. And also, if you're hearing that in the background, you might not. But if you do, that's my brother playing like FIFA on PS2 or something. And he's just like probably scored a goal and he's acting in a, in a reactionary way to that happening. You know what I'm saying? As you do when you play stuff like FIFA and that. Pretty sure there is another. Oh wait, what's this? It's in here. No, don't go into the don't go into the speedway. Whatever you do, do not go into the speedway. I will not forgive you. Hey, we did it. We got all the gems. That means we have 100%ed the home world. Now what we can do, which is something that I want to do, is actually play Bentley's stage first. This is something that I said I would do, Bentley's Outpost. So just to verify one thing, we can actually go over and we see that we've got to push the box off the cliff in Bentley's Outpost. I might have actually got this skill point the first time I played this. Um, on, you know, the PS1 version. Um, you know, it's like probably one of the very few skill points I actually ended up getting um, legitimately without looking it up. It's just like, oh, that's what you do. I and the camera angle glitched out a little there. Quest, Barrow, but first, I must attend to my young sibling. I'm afraid he may have gotten himself into trouble during my absence. Oh, fuck. oh poor Bentley. So I believe it's Bartholomew, isn't it? The uh, sibling in question. Okay, this camera angle kind of sucks, let me tell you. Okay, so I'm doing the uh, spin attack, uh, but that does nothing. So you gotta press the other attack, the circle attack. Hey bro, it'd be yeah. really cool if you smash that boulder. A swift smack should do the trick. Okay. Yeah, as I say, it's Bartholomew. I see. I remember that much from playing the PS1 version as well. So yeah, we gotta smack all the guys. And yeah, once we get to a box on the cliff, we gotta uh, knock it off the edge and get a skill point for it. Um, yeah, so we can't do that just yet. Just smash, smash, smash till the cows come home. Fortunately, we can't get up there just yet. We have to progress through the level before that happens. Uh, and of course, smash, smash, smash. Oh, nice, a nice amount of treasure in there. Lovely. Bentley has no use for it, but I do. If you use your spin move to deflect the snowball into the gong, I bet we can make the roof cave in. Okay. See, I'll try to do like. Nah. There we go. I was trying to do it in a more reactionary way. But it's just like, oh, I try to push the button and it's just like, no, you get hit. And it's like, no, that's not what I was doing, game. Come on. We got Brian. Oh, he ate a butterfly. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Oh, we got the uh, seals. Another interpretation of Dark Side Phil right here. Fuck you. That's why how you deal with the seals. But don't go off the edge gems, whatever you do. Fuck you. We still got more DSP seals to kill, so. Just missed a little bit. Just a little bit. Fuck you. That should have missed, but oh well. Okay, so we can do that. I think it's this bit actually. We gotta. Oh, well, there's a guy up. Okay, that was a bit strange. There was just a guy up top and I just smashed his ass. Ow! 
quick. Do you mind not? Do I say quick, don't do that, man. It's like Hulk smashing this motherfucker, dude. You don't get in my way. Oh, yeah, you want some too? Ah! That's why. That's exactly what you get. Ah, oh, I think they make you go down. Yeah, I think that's something I didn't realise in the PS1 version when I did it. I didn't want to run back around. Um, so, yeah, they made it so gems from that container fall off the edge a little bit. And uh, it's mm, not nice, but it is what it is at the end of the day. Another gong. Great. I bet we can cause an avalanche with this one. An avalanche? Hold on, I'll just continue to do it. I guess you can only do it for so long as well. I think that's no. Oh, that was so much for an avalanche rather than a. Uh, just. Oh well, whatever. Can we do it with this bit? Hey! Skill points acquired! We push the box off the cliff. That's what I was supposed to do. I don't know if I fucked myself by doing that, but fuck it, that's exactly what I wanted to do. And we got another egg! We got Charlie. Think about it, I might have needed that to get up on top of that uh, area that I just. Uh, uh, maybe we can go in this way actually instead. Fuck you. So now we can go over this way. Well, it's not like I could have destroyed the crate either before I start overcomplicating it. I think it was just one of those things where. Oh god, what the hell? It's just like falling and not landing, what the hell? It's a little bit with Whoa! Whoa, 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 DSP seal. What are you playing at? And the cables just fell out of my controller again, of course it has. Oh well, let's see how far I can go without it dying on me. Because that's probably going to happen. Uh, we can go over and get these gems over here. we got to push the crates into position to get to the end. Essentially what we got to do. So I gotta admit, I like these kind of stages, the um, the characters that we rescue, because they're not particularly long, and it is relatively, only relatively straightforward to do. Um, so in absolute terms, it's uh, it it it's all right, I guess. I guess there is a progression in difficulty as you uh, continue to play, but you know, it's nice to play. It's nice to. Have a change of pace and play something that's a little easier for once. You know, this late into the game where you think it's going to be really difficult and complicated. At least we can, uh, you know, get through it at the end of the day. Press the wrong button. I think the game's going to be really finicky about it. I could push this one back a bit further, so even though I could make it, but I you couldn't because AI. Or maybe it's because it's smaller. And natively, that means you couldn't make it. Even though I could. And you saw me do it, so that's, that's something. Don't want to speak to you just yet. Please be 100%. Hey, it's Totem Destruction. Trophy unlocked. 600 out of 600 gems. I think that means we have 100% of the stage. Thanks, bro. Here's a little something for your rock collection. Rock collection? It's Eric. Hey, it's Eric. Just did the uh, Spyro into the Dragonfly voice. But here we go, we got 3 out of 3. Bar finally gets locked behind the door and that's 100% level complete with the skill points. So now I can return home and just fly into the abyss. That's pretty good, we got uh, over 3,000 gems again. Uh, so that's like the, the, the baseline established as it were. Uh, because money bags took a grand off us for, uh, you know, releasing Bentley there. But it is what it is, it's the price you have to pay, man. It's the price you have to pay. Just to beat the game. Oh god, Spy had like black eye for a moment. It's a bit freaky. Uh, only a little bit freaky if you ask if you ask me. Uh frozen yeah, so isn't these levels are all like underwater. We got frozen altars next. Um we got to beat Yeti in two rounds. So I think that that's something that my brother's talking about, about uh, BS skill points in this game. And uh, I think you got to play as Bentley and there's this boxing round or something you got to do and it's like supposedly really difficult to do, 
uh, at least in the PS1 version. And you might have heard in the previous part, of, uh, close to the end, that uh, my brother was talking about how yeah, yeah, one of the missions I was doing Welcome was really bad. Oh, God, Gabe, Gabriel. On behalf of the Ice Fairies, I want to grant you a special power for as long as you stay in our world. Oh, how kind of you. Ah, so I get the power of Ice Breath now. So I kind of like a little precursor, as it were, or a predecessor to Spyro into the Dragonfly with uh, that game's multiple different... Uh, multiple different breath abilities how you can actually go ahead and switch at will but here it's like yeah you get the different breath abilities but they're only localized as it were so it's what so Alex has to say sold us a laser defense system to protect us from Rhinox but with these flippers I can't even turn it on you'd have no trouble using it though just walk inside when you're done press the action button and you'll walk back out okay Press triangle when you're done. Sorry, that was my my TV over here was gonna uh, turn off. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh. I like the sound the elephants made when you hit them. That was uh That was pretty cool. But now they don't make any sounds whatsoever. Press triangle. And I like the music in this stage as well, I must admit from the PS1 version, the music was pretty good. I don't know if these necessarily do anything. Oh, you can just break them. Okay. Again, no skill point for doing that. It's just I didn't know how to dispose of those before. But doing the head bash seems to do the job. So now we just gotta go around. Ouch. Oh, maybe that's what they used for. They used for those guys to, uh, you know, throw rocks at you, I guess. I say, FUD, fuck your rocks, man. Oh. Quick. Got some lip up in here, I'll say that much. You're trying to kill me, man. I, did, I didn't do nothing. I'm an innocent dragon, man. Stop trying to kill me. I, I haven't done anything to you. Uh -oh, don't say the glitch happens again with the crate here. I would not be happy if that happens, man. Apparently my brother's got another goal in his uh, FIFA game. I just can hear it. Hopefully you can't, but you know, I can. Competition when the sorceress brought them to life with a spell. Since then, they've been stomping around building ice walls and generally causing trouble. Yeah, I can imagine dealing with giant snowmen. You know, it can be problematic, so. Oh! Yeah, how does it feel to get burned, motherfucker? Oh, oh, oh and he's dead, poor bastard. But he deserves it for trying to kill us. Anyone who tries to kill us deserves to die painfully. Brutally as well. Oh man, there's a way to get up there. I wonder how we I wonder how we're gonna do that. Hey stupid elephant, get your fucking ass back here. You don't do that shit to me and get away with it and expect to live. Get up to that treasure if you had something to stand on. Okay, you. He didn't see that coming, poor guy. And I'm just gonna leave him. He can fall out on his own. Whoa! Alright. Uh, we got here. Whoa! The elephant came out of nowhere, dude! <laughs> the elephant came out of nowhere. And people are going to say there's something I could have done about that. There's something you can do about an elephant coming out of nowhere. And trying to brutally murder you. It's not right, man. How many how many times have you, has an elephant tried to kill you? Seriously. I'd actually like to know if anyone's tried to nearly, go, nearly get cured by an elephant or something. It seems like something that's bad. Uh, I, I didn't even get hurt by that. That's, that's a bit weird. I just got flung over back here and now it's like, yeah, okay, whatever. But I has laser bitch, you're going to die. Oh. 
Sorry, mate. Pop. And he is dead. Oh, you can actually break the, uh... The, the, the metal. The ones you have to charge, normally. To, uh... With the laser. That's a bit interesting. You know what? I might regret this, but I'm going to try and do the Bentley stage now. Oh, Spyro! I have just received word from my little brother. He appears to be having some trouble with a Yeti. That dumb Yeti took my ball. I told him to give it back and you'd kick his lousy butt, but he wouldn't listen. He wouldn't look here and look listen, so we got to fight the Yeti. Oh, crap, the cable fell out again. Mess with us. Remember to block his high punches and hit him low when he tries to block. Okay, so how do we do uh, how do we do a block and how do we do a low? So we gotta press X for a body blow, circle for the big hookaroo, and triangle to block high. Bentley blocks low automatically. So we gotta do so body, big hookaroo, and block high. Uh, square for a quick jab. Uh, X for okay, so square for a quick jab as well. Oh god. Okay. Round one. Fight! Dun! Da da da! Dun! Da 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 See, I'm trying to do the. Oh, it's trying. That's supposed to block high. Didn't you say it blocked low automatically? It's not blocking low. Just mashing buttons and seeing what works. Is that it? That can't be it. <laughs> you really showed him. Hey, wait a minute. This isn't my ball. Hey, we got Ailey. I'm gonna say it's how you say it. Or Ali. <laughs> me being me, I'll say it's Ali. You should go back and kick his butt again. Make him give me my ball back. Maybe that's what we gotta this do. This time it'll be a three-round match, and when yeah. you win, don't let him send you off with a stupid egg. Yeah, so this is probably where the uh, they got a win in three rounds comes into play. See, look, 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 you're supposed to be able to do the uh, hit him in the. I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to mash buttons. That's all I'm going to do. See, 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 mashing buttons seems to be the strategy. But yeah, it says it's supposed to block low automatically. And it's like, is he? Yeah, now that, that was the opportunity to like hit high as well. And it's just like, is it? Come on, I'm mashing the buttons as best I can, man. Ah, no, come on. Only two more rounds to go. You're doing great. Only two more rounds to go. Okay, so we get a bit of health back. I've got to win this round, otherwise it's over. It's over. I know I'm not pressing triangle or anything. But... See, it's not like if you mash buttons, then it actually does anything. Come on, do something. I'm, I'm more focused on his health than mine. I can't came to it or something, man. Yes, got him. Yeah, skill points. It's just another stupid egg. Oh, we, we got another egg, Rico. Rico. Well, that wasn't that bad. It was just a button masher. Oh, and that's it. We did it. Nice.
Yeah, it's just the button masher. I tried to do the punch out music as well, just to impersonate the uh, punch out music at least. But damn, that was a little stressful. As I said, all I was doing there was focusing on his his health, not mine. So I could have got clobbered there, and that would have been really frustrating if I I died. Wait, what's this? A dozen cold ones. I got a trophy. That's probably to freeze so many enemies or something, or kill any enemies by shattering them or something. But that's very nice. And there's dogs in the background, by the way, if you hear that. That's actually it, because I got my window open. I don't know if it was supposed to flame the elephants or not, but oh well, it is what it is. I can't even angle high enough to hit him anyway, can we? There we go. Alright, we got the elephant. That's all that matters. Also, it sounds like the, our phones just tried to go in a... Uh, me and my brother were not in a position to answer it, so that's not good. Someone's not going to be happy with us, because we were not uh, in our living room on playing this. Because I wanted to try and beat it 100 and whatever percent before I go back to university, but that doesn't seem like it's an option. Or well, it's very likely. Okay, so now we've got that. We can try and go over here. Yeah, because this is how we get other gems, you see, is we've got to try and go up and around the level like this. But then if you fall off, oh, we've got Jasper. Jasper the dragon, more like Jasper the cat, am I right? Or, or whatever. Don't fall off the edge, whatever you do. I might as well just beat the the stage to then open up the uh, the exit. So then if you fall down, we can just walk through here rather than walk through the entire stage all over again. Oh, never mind. It's There's a DSP money bag here. What does he want? Say, Spyro, you're a sports fan, aren't you? As you probably um, know, Frozen Altars is the birthplace of the great That's sport right. of cat hockey. Oh, don't mind. Today's match is sold out, of course, but I just happen to have a spare cat ticket hockey. that I'll sell you for, say, a teensy weensy marker. A, teen, a teensy weensy marker, but 800 gems? I love cat hockey, man. Head on in, Spyro. It should be a thrilling match. Tiny little in bit fact, of a massive amount of gems you have to play. on the Rhinoc team. Let's just hope the local team doesn't have any last-minute accidents. And last-minute accidents. Cots, um, cottage food or giant giants. Whatever. Because I, I, I was just talking about food, but this is like my last evening meal here at home right now, so it's just food from a local place, or go ahead and get something like a takeaway Chinese in or something, that's all that is. The Rhinox are trying to... Oh, Jaina. The egg. Or the dragon, or whatever we're supposed to say. So we rescued them. The doors are now open, so I can go back to the beginning of the stage. Uh, but we're not done yet, because we've got the cat hockey to play, and some more gems that are literally soon about to place higher up. So there's probably another two eggs to get. Uh, I've got the skill points already. I don't think there's another one. Uh, could I always check if there was another one, but I'm pretty sure there isn't. And I'll play this as long as I conceivably can. Uh, but again, I don't know how much more of this I am going to, to cover. So, ah, oh, great. We've got to go over there, and I've got to jump over here as well for a gem. Uh, that's all nice. It's all well and good, ain't it? Because now I've got to try and get up there. I don't know how I'm going to get up there unless I glide. So, then, of course, we've got to go back and see what was behind Muddy Bag's mystery door. So, uh, yeah, that's something. Also, I'll try and get this to YouTube as well. I might not uh, upload it. Uh, or not, or at least, I won't publish it right away. I think what I'll do is I'll do what I did with an update video on my channel. Is I'll, um... Oh god, that's absolutely not how you get up there. Okay, it's got to be another way then. Uh, what I was going to say is that I'm not, I'm not going to do what I did with an update. I might do the same thing, so is what I mean to say. I might do the same things I did with an update video that I did. Where it's like, okay, I'm going to... It looks like you can make it from that angle. I might try again, but I don't know if I'll make it. But yeah, so I'll go upload it one day. I'll leave it to process overnight. And then i come back and... uh. I'll upload it the next day, and then um, 
yeah, then it's just like hit, hit publish and then it should be in HD quality and you should be able to watch it, right? At least that's what I'd hope for. You don't think I could freeze this guy and get up here? Oh, you can. Well, it's probably not the right way to do it, but if it is, then that's uh, cheap as hell. But I guess this is something else I've just figured out how you can do as well. So that's quite nice. Oh, can we get to... Yeah, we can get to 3,000 gems again. So, money bags again has dipped us underneath the 3,000 gems mark with his uh, bullshit escapades. Uh, we can actually just jump right over here for two gems. And then if we jump back up here, we can get over to where the egg is for uh, the remaining gems in the stage and uh, for one more egg. So let's just go ahead and do that real quick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Spyro nearly killed himself. Okay, there's bound to be James in the cat hockey then, unless I'm missing any. But we've got Cecil. We rescued Cecil, who is surprisingly a cry baby. Ah, oh, where, where, whatever. He's just whining and crying. Because reasons. I think that is it. Let's check the guy. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm missing two gems somewhere, really. Don't say it was a crate that I broke and it didn't give a gem. Or it's just a two gem that's lying around somewhere and I didn't get it from earlier. It could be the same glitch that happened before, ladies and gentlemen, where it's supposed to be a gem that I get and the game's bugged out and he hasn't given it to me. It's probably that elephant. You know what? It's probably that elephant that I was supposed to kill. Why is it the end here? And he hasn't actually dropped a gem when he was supposed to. What's the odds that it was that elephant that was supposed to drop a gem and he didn't because I was supposed to flame him because I flamed all the others? I'm well, supposing the end is open. I could always just return home and go back in. Hey, it's my brother. How are you doing? Uh... Yeah, I think that bug happened again. Oh no! With the gem, not uh, you know, us not getting a gem. So what I did was I exited the frozen altar stage. Mm -hmm. I beat the yeti first try within the two rounds. Oh wow! Yeah, it's a bit easier in this game. It was a button masher in all honesty. Yeah. But uh, because that gem glitched out, I'm thinking I'll uh, go back in here because I think the exit should be open. Yeah, it is. So then I could just go around and test what I want to. Because I think there was an elephant I killed and he didn't drop a gem. So I'm thinking it's that. And if it isn't, then I don't know what it is. Okay. And then there's something about cat hockey i got to do as well. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know what to expect from that. But that's just right over yonder that way. Oh, God. So I think it's this elephant up here. Oh, I was right, it was that elephant. He didn't drop a gem when he was supposed to. All because I killed him with a laser. Bugged game, man. That's, that, that's the second time this, this yeah. has happened. I challenged a Rhinoc to a traditional game of cat hockey, but I think I sprained my flipper while training. Oh dear. Would you mind taking my place? Yeah, why not? Great. Freeze the cats and push them into my goal to score. Okay, freeze the cats and push them into the blue goal. The first player to five cats wins. You can also freeze him. Freeze him. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so is it like... I've got to... Oh, oh god, it's no. bugging out. Well, if you push one in, it goes all the way. Any other guy's goal, yeah. Uh, it's a shame we can't... Uh... Oh, there you go, that's one point. It's a shame you can't jump or charge. No, I think you one the way Yeah. Ah! I'll push him into my goal and see if that counts. That just went the wrong way. I think all the cats are over this guy's side, so it's like. No, you don't. He's pushed in, he's gone in, hasn't he? Yeah, that's 
Of course it has. Yeah, I, I can't control on the ice. I need to be able to at least jump and charge, and you can't do either. That one's not going in. I need these two to be. Oh, uh, that one's going in. This one's gone in. One more. Oh no! Oh, I can't no. jump or do anything. That Reinhardt has been gloating ever since he beat you, but I think it was just. Yeah, that was a own goal. Go a rematch. Line, you should ask for a rematch. I think that guy spread catnip in his. Of course goal. he did. Great. Freeze the cats and push them into my goal. It's a score. Yeah, I get the idea. That wasn't supposed to happen. That was not a loss there. Fuck okay. yeah. Just, just cheat off the bat and just screw him up. Is the cat still... The cat's still moving while he's frozen. Ah. There we go. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Come on, I'm stuck. Ugh. Cat over. No. Oh, that counts. That counted for some reason. No, he's gonna get. Oh, he's got one. That's that. That, that, that was, that was a skill if it's a skill point to win like five nil or something, that would be frustrating as hell. One more. But they're not be like a part two to this. <laughs> Just like win ten nil or something. <laughs> Come on. No. Fuck. So awkward, man. Oh, now he's catching up. <laughs> Because this guy doesn't want to go in. Look at oh my god! There we go. There we go. You win. Yeah. God, this game's control is awkward well, as hell, man. I think you deserve to keep the champions cup. Ah, ah, great name. Hey, it's back. Hey, six out of six. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? That means we have 100% of this stage, including the skill points. Yes, as you can see here, we got the beat yet in two rounds. Uh, next one is in Lost Fleet. We've got to do the skateboard record time. So, I don't know what that's going to entail, but uh, that's the first level 100%ed. Oh, only two gems found. Two. Two. Maybe you're joking. Uh, do you want to hit the light, please? It's going on to about 7 p.m. my time, so I've probably got another hour, maybe, or so, to play this. Okay, my brother's going to get a drink, as to be expected. I've got a little bit of my drink left. Uh, this is the last fleet right here. Uh, I think this is the next level we're supposed to be going to. Yeah, in the fireworks factory, that's, uh, well, Agent 9 is the final character we have to unlock. And there's two in Charmed Ridge. But yeah, apparently there's another skateboard level in the Lost Fleet here, so we gotta try and uh, figure out how to do that. Also, I know my face looks a little dark, that's because my light's like behind me essentially. So it can still look pretty dark on my face, even though the rest of the background's all lit up. But uh, I turn the light on as a preventative measure because I know that it's gonna get dark pretty quickly. And, um,. I don't want it to just go dark out of nowhere and then it's just really dark in the face cam, that's bad. Treasure, eh? Crazy Ed. Well, let's see what Crazy Ed has to say. Also, it's a bit of a shame now we don't actually have the, uh, the ice ability, the ice breath. But you know what? That's the price we have to pay. For not being in that level, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, so nothing to worry about. Ghosts. Oh, what's the what's the odds? It is Riptox pretending to be ghosts when it actually is just Riptox being ass wipes. I don't know. Oh my God! I think my brother's gonna have a field day watching this playthrough. Well, if he if he watches it back, because he'll, he'll watch the uh, speedway at the beginning and it's just like oh my god he got really mad trying to play that speedway but that's me reacting in a personal manner you know what I'm saying and that should have hit that guy but oh well should hit this guy hey fuck you fat hey 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 
Hey, you fucking idiot, dude. Can you stop throwing rocks at me, please? I haven't done anything to you. Other than just hit you like that, because you deserve it, you idiot. Fuck you. And now you made me lose sparks as well. That's totally undeserved. But yeah, this is what I mean. Uh, uh, what was I going to say right there? This is what I mean about you having to overcompensate your shots. Because that should have hit him. Even with that amount of overcompensation, that should have hit him. And I got hit by nothing and died instantly. Should have had a sparks there, Spyro. But that's your fault for getting hit two or three times in a row to something that I wasn't getting hit by. So, bullshit game design. Sorry, but that's bullshit. And that's the overcompensation at work as well. You gotta aim higher than you'd think. You be careful around yeah, it's crazy Eddie game. We gotta kill all the enemies over because we didn't even get to the first save of the uh, the level. Because the game fucked me that bad. It's, it's unbelievable, isn't it? The game actually screwed me over that bad. Really not nice. That's why I say it's like bad game design right there. Because it is. It's bad game design when you get hit to stuff that you're not supposed to get hit to. See, he's not supposed to dodge that. He absolutely was not supposed to dodge that. And, of course, he goes out the way like a fucking pussy. Oh, you can just flame him. You don't even need to, uh... Oh, you don't even need to use the spits at them. <sighs> the cable fell out again. Seriously, dudes. You know what, after the laser in the last level, do you really think I should be going around killing all of the uh, the, the enemies with a, a missile, or a rocket launcher, or a mortar, or whatever? I think I'm supposed to try and kill the uh, the birds with it, but I uh, don't think I'm really going to get most of them from that position. Just saying. Plus, I'm supposed to be able to go up here and uh, apparently you can't. Bit bizarre, you're supposed to be able to go up here. I don't know why you can't get up here. Yeah, I think they bugged it out. I think you're supposed to be able to go up there, but now you just cannot do it, and I don't know why. Oh well, maybe there's a swirly later one that we can use. Or maybe this guy tells us something. I reckon my treasure be this way. But we'll have to blast through this blooming ship to get to it. Alrighty then. So yeah, that's a hint that we have to use this to shoot at the, uh... Yeah, I gotta hit him with the, uh... I hit him with that. Yeah, I do think we were supposed to be able to go up there. At least make it look a bit more steep if that's something that we can't do. Just saying. Okay, I think... Oh shit. Kill you to get my sparks back up because that was nonsense. Unless you need the uh, unless you need this for these. But even then, you don't need to use that for the flying guys. And it's not like there's a skill point for hitting them either. So I don't know why you need those unless it makes it easier to hit or there's a trophy or something for hitting enemies with those spitball items. I don't know. If I miss any of the trophies for a specific level, then I'll be going back at the end. Um, I think that's how I'm going to do the um, the other stuff as well. Whoa, he just went like, for the crab. What the hell? I can't go for the crabs. And the ghost as well. God, this guy's a punk-ass motherfucker, man. Like, real talk. Got more uh, birds. I guess the idea is it's just like the birds in the uh, other, the, 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 one of the snow levels from the previous part. It's like we gotta just get the right angle of the dangle, as it were, and just go ahead and get them, as it were, just do it. Oh, you ain't getting me, you idiot. No chance in hell. I think this is the end of the level, right? Right here. So we got to the end already. Hey, look at that. Some fool 
hit a daggum egg in my treasure. In the treasure. In the treasure. It's crazy. Crazy egg. Oh, Come on, mate. Hmm. You tried to have a nap, dude. What bit? So we got 84. Crazy. Yeah, the crap would try to out of a crash. But the good news is now we can get out here and there's a swirly at the beginning, so I guess that's how we get up to the, the ship and up to that way that I thought we couldn't we could go to, but then we couldn't. If the camera would like to work. We can always let's restart. Try, yeah, let's, try that. let's try that again. So for a moment there I forgot how to go under the water. That that's that's all that's what this game does to you. It makes you forget the bare basics. The Just follow the gems, not the crystals. You guessing this right here? Ah uh, Hey, we got Chad. Who is a Chad? Okay. Well you ain't a Chad by doing that, let me tell you. 85 eggs. So now you can go up this swirly and we end up here. Which is somewhere. Oh, wait, there's a path up here. Oh no, I didn't do oh. that. Oh, I never did that, man. Glitched. So I guess that just loops back around anyway. I think the skateboard's down this way. Oh, what the hell? You can't even touch that. the hell? I'm not getting hit by anything. This, this, this game's glitched, man. Okay, let's go through yonder this way. Oh, it's a skate. It's a guy on a skateboard. Can I kill him? Yes. Murdered. Oh, don't say I glitched the sequence out by killing that guy ahead of time. Oh, he respawns. Uh, oh, and hey, Hunter, what are you going to say to me? You're just in time. A Rhinox skateboard gang's challenged us to a race. Oh dear. They said you're slower than a molten crater fire slug. What? I stuck up for you though. I told them I've seen some pretty fast fire slugs. <laughs> so, are you ready to race these guys? They bet us an egg that you won't win. Right, okay. Bring them on. Right on. You can use my special racing board. Every time you do a trick, it builds up turbo charge. You can use your turbos at any time by pressing the charge Square button. button. Good luck. So perform tricks to get turbos. Use turbos by pressing the square button. Beat all why knocks in a free lap race. Okay, so now it's like you press that. Okay, that's not exactly not how you do it. Whoa, crap. Ouch. That was a fail. You can actually kill the enemies as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how the hell am I supposed to get up there? <laughs> I can't even hit a single one. This is going to be a painful one to do. That was supposed to be that region so that I always managed to pull off. So like you gotta go, you gotta. That was not what I wanted to do. You shit game. Something like you jump, you do like a half turn and then you do like two rolls or something and that's how you do it, but it, it doesn't seem to want to do it for some reason. Because I, I, I was thinking it would actually give you the name of it. Ah! That was a bit overkill. Oh, that was funny though. Yeah, I don't think I'm winning this time. I can't even stay on the track. Yes. Somehow, mate, that... Oh, I think they're going to laugh me because I'm that far behind. Fuck, <laughs> oh, get out of my way. Fuck, oh, you get out of my way. I should be in first, not you. Oh, he broke his neck. Oh wait, that was in. I actually overtook someone apparently. 
Someone's worse than me, I overtook someone. Ah, oh, oh no, I, I flipped out as well. I, I teleported a bit the further ahead the track. But no. There's a little shortcut here we can take. Okay. Yeah, I think the problem is that everyone else is like one lap ahead. So that they've already probably won the race, and I'm still like here. Oh god, what the hell? Oh no! What the hell, man? It looks like I'm not gonna have a second shot at that. Ah, oh, there's a gem there. Ah, oh, where my leg? Uh, just get up there. Oh, I got it. It's cheating, but the camera's stuck. Beautiful. God, it's going to be painful for people to watch this part. Because I ain't doing anything. Ah, overcompensated. You don't have much control, sadly. Like that, for instance. That's what I wanted to do. And uh, unsurprisingly, I came dead last. Sheesh, what happened? I can beat these guys with my tail tied behind my back. Well, that's because yeah, you don't need a tail to do skateboards. We'll All right, let them have it. Let them have it. All I want to do is do that move, and the game's like, no, you can't do it. I'll try and follow your strategy. Use the boost. And then I've got to try and do like double moves. That was perfect, so I don't know what the fuck happened there. I don't know what the fuck happened there. Fucking idiot. Fucking idiot, man! God, fucking spyway, seriously. I'm not doing half this shit. I'll try and cut up on the inside, and he just broke his neck for no reason. That's what happens when you hold diagonal right, ladies and gentlemen, you just don't do any moves that you're supposed to do. And I'm not going to be able to get up there, so I'm going to stick to the low roads. I died, but didn't at the same time. Okay, somehow I landed that. Somehow. And why don't they ever fall off the track, huh? That's what you call fair, isn't it? I can't believe it. I'm actually in third place right now, and I knocked that guy off the skateboard. That's what you call fair, isn't it? And die. But I had to. I had to. Yeah, there is. What? I hit nothing. I don't know what happened there, but I just hit nothing. Right, so now I've got to get up. Hey, he didn't do it. He didn't do it. You saw that shit, wise. I'm holding square and it's done nothing. I came first. What? What kind of tough shit look was that? I. I, I, I well, whatever. I did it. We got Oliver. We rescued Oliver, yeah. That is the worst egg I've had to get so far. There can't be any eggs worse than that. There absolutely cannot be any eggs worse than that. That was dreadful. Crabs? God damn it. You aren't. So I got to kill all the crabs and eat them. This is the worst egg you can Ten crabs. Oh, okay, that was a bit lucky. Yeah, it's still a free, you know, free lap race. And I probably killed all the crabs in the previous, anyway. Yeah, so it's the killing the crabs for me. Ouch! What the shit? What? I think I killed the crab anyway. Yeah. I saw that, I tried to do it, but then I hit something and, you know, then it's like, oh no, you died. What the? 
Okay. Ah, I, I keep trying to do more than I can bite, more than I can chew. Okay, there we go. I got the raging victor off there. So I guess all I need to do now is. Yeah, I think all I need to do is just get that one in the shortcut at the end. Of the end. Yeah, I need to get the one that's over here. And now all I gotta do is just get past the last bend or something. Is there a life there? Yeah, don't worry about that. I can't worry about winning the race, dudes. Okay, that was a bit lucky. See, but when you know to get some of the moves down. That should have landed. Oh, I'm that far, I'm that far back now as well. That's it, I think it's over. Okay, playing a bit of a risk there, but you know what, I'll have to. Two minutes so free. I can't believe you beat me. You must have been practicing the whole time while I thought you were just looking for eggs. Hmm, maybe. Hey, speaking of which. One of those crabs was guarding this one. <laughs> the crabs. Aiden. The crabs. Huh? Where, where, where? Ah, where, where, where? What's going on? Hey, you got 87. Oh, what the hell is a course record going to be? <laughs> well, that's a great start. When I wanted to do the move that I wanted to and it just did nothing, so. Well, she's gonna be like a minute and a half or something, and he's just like, what? Well, bear in mind, I just beat Hunter in like two minutes over three. So, it could be like two minutes or something, but as long as you get the stars, then that preserves some of your boosts, so. And you gotta take like the shortcut as well, but. I think I hit the star. I didn't hit the star, what the hell? Ah, oh, that should have been the Raging Ripso right there and he did nothing. Oh well, we're on the second lap and I've got to try and get another Raging Ripso or something, so... Yeah, I did it. And I, and I wiped out at the same time, but still I did it. Nobody can say I didn't, because I did. But yeah, that's my go-to move, the Raging Ripso, every time. Because that's the only one I know how to do. I know there's a nasty north, but I don't know how to actually do that. But it's like those, it's one of those things, you know how to do it, and then you just do it every time afterwards. Oh god, this is going to fail. I didn't move to the diagonals. Ah, broke his neck. I had to take a risk there. I pressed X at the top of the uh, jump, and I jumped over the fucking acid pit, and I jumped over it again. See, all this because I need boost and the game should have gave me boost and it gave me nothing. What the shit, dude? Never touched anything. I don't know what it is, I don't know what it is. Pressing square for boost game, come on, give it to me. That should have been the Raging Ripto right there and it gave me nothing. Shit game. Ah, fuck you. Fucking shit game. Landed it perfectly. I probably would have done it too. 145, damn. I've got to beat 145. Unless they patched it because I thought it was too easy. Okay, there we go. Fuck you. Fuck you, shit game. I landed that. Idiotic. Nope, didn't do that. I landed it perfectly. You even saw me overcompensate for that as well. Probably doesn't average eight to like them, but maybe it does, I don't know. All that I know is I should have done it and 
The game's like, no. Now, again, more, another Raging Ripto should have came out, and the game's like, no, it doesn't come out. You should land at like a one degree angle away from where you're supposed to. Right. Perfect. Yeah, sometimes Spyro doesn't do the jump properly. But yeah, kind of got to not fuck up on the last lap and that's not going to happen. Block like a 30 second lap or something. You beat like world record standards or something. But yeah, I've got to beat this in like 10 seconds, no 20 seconds actually. Oh, I pushed up to go back and he did nothing. He'd done literally nothing there. I'm not, I'm not going to beat the time now. Yeah, see, I'm too far behind. Supposed to be at the last, I was supposed to cross the finish line right now and I didn't. Yeah, 1 minute 51. I should have done it, but the game shit, so it didn't give me the move I was supposed to get. Multiple times, by the way, as well. not gonna do it. But he went head first into the wall. I think that's what killed him there. Come on man. Stop being an idiot. Start making some of these jumps. Seriously. It's getting annoying. Bullshit. I didn't bang my head off the wall and die instantly you fucking moron. Jesus Christ almighty. This idiot man pisses me off. I like how you get the red stars as well, but they're just not helpful whatsoever in this. What the hell is he doing? No, supposed to land it, you fucking Come on. I didn't jump, I pressed circle. And I'm holding square to do boost, it's doing nothing. Good game. There we go, I've got 45 seconds to beat two laps. Again. Yeah, I've got a forfeit. Got a forfeit, there's no way he's making it because he's a fucking <laughs> Come on. <sighs> God, I quit again. He didn't do the move I was supposed to do. And he died. He actually died because I quit the race. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, because I quit the race, he died instead of respawning. Yeah, fucking idiot. You totally deserve to lose a life if that's the case. You might be able to beat me at skateboarding, but I'd still win in a popularity contest. He didn't say that before, by the way. It's the first time I'm hearing that. There we go, right. See, that's the only problem with doing that move, is that you end up going backwards. So you kind of have to readjust. See, knowing that game, it would have, knowing this, it probably would have said, oh no, you missed that. But yeah, you actually didn't land that, even though you did. Or, oh, look at that, you're landing at an awkward angle, and now you're gonna die for that. It's like, come on, man. I can't press square and triangle at the same time and jump. It just doesn't work that way. At least I killed the crab, but. No. I gotta do like a triple backflip or front flip or whatever at that point. Or the rolls as well, the rolls can also help you. But yeah, now you gotta go over here. Yeah, you gotta do something like that. You gotta do like this weird awkward jump. But then you can make that. It's weird. It's hard to explain. To get the star. What? What? I hit nothing. Oh, I'm not even gonna be see. I'm just gonna go for it. I think I've done it. One thirty-nine point six skill points. Yeah, well Fuck this game for that, man. Bullshit. So I got sync the subs to there, and I've done um. Lost Fleece, there we go, I've done it. Oh boy, that took way longer than I wanted it to, let me tell you. It's going to be painful for people to watch that afterwards. Might not have been too bad live, and I never did that, but uh, 
Yeah, this is really bad. Damn crab man. Back here. Two times in a while I got hit to nothing. What the hell? Oh, I don't know. I might want to just end, it, end the part after this. And say there's no chance I'm beating this game tonight. No chance. But uh, I'd want to leave all the bullshit stuff until another time. I don't know, I don't know how I want to work it. Kill the crabs. And the cables fell out again. Uh, we can actually go up to a punter. Well, over this way, I guess, for one crab. But yeah, I think that's it. Oh, and there's the, uh, the guys as well. Make it! Okay, we made it. Because now you can go up here and there's a cannon up here. So what I'm thinking of is we need this cannon to take out the birds over this side. There we go, we've got the him. And there's this guy as well, get him. Just spam mortar shells or whatever to so get them all. Okay, I got him. Uh, there's, there's something over here. No, I haven't got that. Maybe a bit higher. Or oh, lower down, maybe. You have to get the angle perfect. It's supposed to go up. Unless there's another way to get that. Maybe it's the uh, one that's lower down. See, that is almost it. So it's like you got to angle, angle it up a little bit more. But then you hit the ceiling. So then you've got to angle it a little bit down. But then it's going to miss by a little bit. I don't know if it was this precise on the PS1 version. But yeah, I'm probably going to have to use this one. But then I've got to get up there as well, and that's the thing. There we go. Now I've got to find out where that swirly was. So go down this way. <laughs> so a fucking idiot. No, go, go up! What the hell are you doing? Jesus Christ, man! Come like up here. Yeah, like right at the front of the ship. Make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Someone in the stream chat just told me how to do this, alright. There's still more gems to get. Uh, and there's an area where you got to sink the subs or something, I think. So I don't know where that is, but... Cough, cough. Maybe it's down this way. No, it's not down this way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I only explored the front because that's all I saw. Yeah, so now I've got to go down to the back. Um, oh, there's five here. Oh, and there's five down here. Ah! Yeah, because I didn't go down that way. Unless it's another acid area, gotta go out of. Because there's like a good hundred gems. There's another area I'm missing. Yeah, so the whirlwind here takes you up on top. Over there? Yeah, so that's Ah, so you gotta go onto this one to glide over. Yeah, to glide over there. 
Make it! Yeah. Hey, it's a mate. How you doing, mate? Crazy Ed. These here waters used to be my favorite diving spot, but I can't get any loot with these subs patrolling subs. around. Think you can pilot this here sub I bought for scrap? Yes, I'll buy the submarine, please. Alrighty then. Press the jump button to speed on up. And when you get a sub on your sights, the speed torpedo on. will start to lock on. If you get a good lock on, fire away with the... <laughs> with the circle button. Get it, boys. No. Oh, maybe you got to use that to swim for the acid afterwards. Like that. Like that. Okay. It's a bit. Yeah, it's because I. Oh, here we go. Like ding, ding, ding. Like, you now I think at that point you can do it. It's actually more like yeah. Like, wait for like four or something. So I'm trying to get this guy. Okay, they're just going all over the place now. There we go. Not half of them. I right, come back here, you. Ha! Got your ass. One left to get. I think he's on this side. Beneath me. Unless you get like infinite swim underwater time, I don't see how uh, I'm gonna get all of these. Then it's better to last for a long time. But well, I'll be darned. You got some mean subdriving skills. To get. Why don't you have this here egg as a reward? A reward? Ethel? Hey, it's Ethel. No. Ah, oh, fall flat on your face. And scratch. I hate to ask your help again. There'll be even more subs that don't come out of nowheres. If you could blast them, I could use this acid lake as my swimming hole again. Well, I don't know how you're swimming acid, but okay, gotta blast Aren't even more you? submarines. Get on, little dragon. Oh, but they better not be yellow as well. Those were the easy ones. Yeah, the easy submarines. Now I got even more difficult ones. So yeah, I know there's some things I missed, like this one for instance. There's one over here as well. Or something like that. So now we've got seven submarines to take out. It's the only problem, we gotta figure out uh, if, if we got all of them or not. That's bullshit. It locked onto him and he just like went right into a wall afterwards. Gotta do something like that, you just gotta get right on their tail. Just about got that guy too. Then yeah, you gotta go like that as well. Kind of awkward. Some of these guys are a pain in the ass, man. Should have been able to get them. Guy kind of go like that, and then he goes away. And so then you bite on his ass, and, he's, and then, then the game still cheats. So that should have been a clear kill, and then it's like, no, you go, you cut a corner too fine, and then you don't s spot him. See, like that, for instance, you've so never left my line of sight. <laughs> you never left my line of sight, so how the hell did... Um, uh, uh, that does not count. Oh, you're dead now, bastard. At last, the acid lake is safe for swimming again. I wouldn't swim in that if I was I you. I could reward you better, but all I got left is this here other egg. Maybe there'll be something better in this one. 
We got Dolores. Dolores. Sorry, Dolores. Oh, Dolores. Whatever you want to say. But yeah, it's all the eggs. So yes, unless this is like one that lasts for a really long time, I don't see how uh, you can get all these back to the start. Because you die. Painfully, by the way, I might I add. It's bound to be like one of those metal crates now. Nah, I hope there isn't. I don't know, maybe I'll finish the playthrough part after this level because I'm not feeling up to doing some of the other stuff. If it's this is anything to go by. But I definitely think that skateboard one was one of the worst ones I've had to do so far. I don't think there could be much that's worse than that. You know, it should be more straightforward because that is just a pain in the ass to do. But maybe there is something that's worse. Right. Uh, my guide here. No, you're gonna die. Ah, oh, I just about made it. I was inches off. It was inches away from the, uh, the, the the shield, and then he just couldn't make it. He just couldn't make it last that little bit longer, and now he rightfully died because of it. And that was his fault, not mine. Damn it. Now I've got on to here again. Yeah, I don't, they don't respawn. So, I'm going to just carry on from where I left off, which is why it's over here. And I'm going to do something even more stupid. I'm actually going to go down this way. Try and get all these gems while that's in that state. Oh, and he's inches away. Two times in a row he's inches away from, from, from getting that. And it's like, no, he dies. Poor bastard, man. Inches away. And he just dies, he just does he just keels over, he can't take it. He can't survive for like two inches, seriously. It's pathetic when you think about it, you can't even survive for like two inches of distance. You just keel over. Pathetic man. Well I know I haven't, but There's still 39. Still like a whole section. Well, at least a mini section. I think there was a place higher up that I could go to, but I didn't uh, see anything. I see a way to get up there. See, because I wanted to go out here. Because I think there's an area up onto the. Unless that's where I came out of later on. Or there's another underwater, under acid area. Need to get to so yeah, now I've got to get back to the end of the stage. Ouch. Oh, I've got to heal something. Did he really just miss the light? It's because you can't flame underwater. Under, yeah, it's problematic, man. There's four gems he's missing, eh? I think he's in that area. Fuck. Maybe he was. Oh, yeah. yeah I think it's in there. Oh, I can always look around. No, I mean, in the acid. Oh, in the acid? Yeah, I think the four gems in the acid there. You know where? Oh, no. Oh. What? So, back down this way? Yeah. Not this place, the next place. Got time? It's not my fault, I don't know where I'm going. What do you mean, like, down here? Two, three, four. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. 100% level complete at last. Let's just shoot this music in the background the entire time. The crabs respawn. Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's at 100 percent and we got the skill point. Yes, I can get the ass out of here now. Oh. I was doing mad if I missed that. Oh, oh no. I didn't do that, dude. You saw that. I went into the home portal and they decided to throw a whirly in my face or whatever the hell it's supposed to be. The whirlwind or whatever. Get out of here. See you. Get him out of here. Yeah, let's see. I have no idea how long I've been going for. I've been going for 2 hours and 19 minutes. It's not the longest I've been going for in this playthrough. But to think I've only done like 2 or 3 worlds as much as I can do them in that time. It's actually pretty bad. Um, the boxing one, I thought that would have been pretty bad and it turned out not to be as bad as I thought it was. But um, oh, there's a cutscene. There's a button. But oh no, he fell into a trap and came into a cage. <sighs> See, this is what the, this is a little pitfall I fell into in the previous um, playthrough part. Oh, when I did it on PS1, sorry. When I played this on PS1, I fell into a little trap because uh, that happens with Hunter and he doesn't get rescued again until like the end of the game. Like, you beat the boss at the end of the game standards. Uh, something like that. So that means that whenever there's Hunter stuff, like the skateboarding stuff, when I wanted to go at the end of the game to get more eggs, turns out that once the Hunter stuff, once Hunter's kidnapped like you saw there, um, you can't actually do any of the Hunter stuff. So when I wanted to go and try skateboarding out, it's like, oh no, you've done it at a point where Hunter was kidnapped, so you can't do it. And so that kind of threw me off of playing the PS1 version. I'm pretty sure at this point though there really shouldn't be any more hunter stuff. I mean if we check, I think the next level to do is Firex Factory and we need Agent 9. And Agent 9 comes in the fourth warp room. So I guess I could try and play through this level as much as I can. I'm not gonna be able to beat all of it. And then I might just call it quits and say, yeah, this is as far as I could go in this warp room. And now I need to wait until probably next week to get the opportunity to play this game again. Uh, to try and progress further into the game, to try and get to the fourth homeworld, beat some stuff there, like Agent 9's mission, and then probably another part after that to beat the boss, and then go all the way back and do Sparks missions, and that's like another three two-hour streams you're talking about for me to beat this game, uh, do the 100% run and all that. So, something for me to deal with. Hey, it's Greta. See you again, Spyro. That naughty sorceress has stolen the professor's rocket plans, and I'm on a secret mission to find them. Handel was supposed to meet me here, but I can't find him anywhere. Maybe you could help. Now we've got Greta. So from Spyro 2, I think, this character uh, looks like an innocent little kid. It's someone who's a assassin ninja or martial arts expert or something. It's like... Yeah. Right, they, re they just respawned, didn't they? Makes it difficult to know if you got gems to get when the fucking ninjas respawn. Unless I'm not killing them, that's the other alternative. But, uh, unless there's something you got to do where you got to kill all of them, of course. But then there's no skill point to suggest that. So, I don't know what to think at this moment in time. So I'll just say fuck the ninjas. Yeah, because probably when you hit them once it takes them out, maybe, I don't know. Ninjas don't die. Ouch, I didn't mean to do that. Damn it, man. What was it that the Freeman's Mind quote was or something about the ninjas? It's like, no, you can't prove, disprove ninjas. You, you can only prove ninjas. Uh, you know, you can't actually disprove their existence, you only observe their direct presence. Which is like, uh, that, like, electrons or something, you observe the effects of them without actually, you know, seeing them per se, because they're tiny. 
Reminds me of what they said about uh, like measuring the mass of a neutrino recently. And usually you get like uh, masses in energy, because according to what Einstein said, energy and mass are equivalents. So, you know, usually you get, say, the electron's mass is something like 0 0.5 mega electron volts divided by the speed of light squared or something like that. Um, and they're saying that, you know, Bain is an electron and that's already difficult enough to detect. You know, half a mega electron volt. And they're trying to say, that's like a million, one million electron volts, right? Well, you know, like 500,000, let's say, for the sake of argument. They're trying to say that the mass of a neutrino is like less than one electron volt. So bear in mind, an electro, uh, you know, electrons are bad enough. Neutrinos are like really bad. That's why they, you know, they need massive, you know, like containers of water or something just to be able to even detect one of them. You know, because their energy is that low, that their mass is that tiny, that that's the best you could do. You know, one electron volt compared to like 500,000 is actually quite substantial if you ask me. I just thought that was interesting from looking up stuff recently that I get into my news feed. Oh, what's this? There's a rocket. Oh, it's actually a rocket eatable power up. Okay, that's nice to know. Because now what we can do is aim it right there. And that's uh, how we get these. Yeah. So I think that's just a bug. So we can go towards the end of the stage. I think we've got to go down this way. Uh, I know I can't beat this stage 100% right now, so it's not really that important that I try and get everything. But it saves, it saves my ass later on, knowing that there's nothing more for me to do. So it kind of helps me out a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's he trying to do there? Idiot. He is a huge... Gideon. You got all these ninjas and that as well. Fuck you. But yeah, it looks like some of the ones from earlier on are respawning. It probably means I didn't kill them, but. It looks like you'll have to use this cannon to get across here. Simply climb aboard. As for me, I just have to free my mind. Yeah. Whatever. Mm. Oh yeah, that totally happens. <laughs> a, a little kid can totally jump that far. I like at least how the cannon is automatic, so that you know you don't have to shoot it on your own accord to make it. it just does it for you. That's quite good. So, okay, just break the box. So now we go down this way, and we can cut through in here to eat another rocket power. Yeah, just flame them all, they're not going to survive that. I think that's what we need at this point, because there's these guys and you can't hurt them, but you just have to shoot the a firework at them and they just like blow up so that's kind of nice. So boom! You just like murder the ass for one. Run one gem, that's it. So now we can go from here. Ugh! Yeah, one thing I have to admit at this late in the game as well, in uh, my playthrough at least, is I don't think I've ever played as Agent 9 in this game. Uh, I might have done many, many years ago, but that was many, many years ago, and this is now. And it's like, yeah, I don't think I've played as a uh, Agent 9. So that should be interesting. First time gameplay with uh, the Monkey Man. People have uh, beaten this will understand what I'm talking about when I say that. But we'll get to that later on. Now, of course, there's another of these crates here, so just that to smithereens, get the gems out of it. I would actually be kind of surprised if there are no gems in uh, the Agent 9 section. Should see no reason why there, there would be. But... Oh. It looks like 
the sorceress has already used the plans to build her own walk-in. We have to destroy it. Just follow me. Okay. At least they drop gems. Yeah. Beep. Hello, there's an egg on it. Hey, look at this. It's Agent 9. Yeah, I'm actually trying to put that cable back in, and it's just like, nah. Uh, oh! Hey, and I opened up that cannon down there. Hey, look what was in the water. They must have been trying to put it into orbit. And then we never would have got it back. But we got Grady. Grady the dragon. Yeah. Cool. If you see hands, I'll tell him I've gone back to Evening Lake to finish work on the Professor's Walk-In. Okay. So, she's gone off on one now. We can actually drop down there, you see. Because that's uh, where the rocket would have been. So we can go down that way and see what was there. Of course, those are the gems that the uh, enemies dropped, courtesy of Greta there. So we can go down here. Uh, obviously, there's less, a whirlwind or a swirly, as I like to call it. And of course, what do we have here? I, I didn't want to do that, I wanted to do this. Dear Spyro, or whatever your name is, give it up. I've got the monkey and I'm not giving it back. Love the sorceress. Yeah, so that's unfortunate. But I think there's a little bit more that we can do. There's this area around here that we can go to. So I want to see what's down here. Oh, it's Handel, that guy. I think I can see an egg behind you, but it's out of reach. You'll have to take the long way around through these Rhinox to get to it. Oh dear, that's not good. We don't have much in terms of a... Uh... Oh god. It's like we got to flame the back or something. Or... Ow. Ow, double out. You know, if there's a rocket power up somewhere, that would be quite useful. Unless it's at the end or something, or I'm just supposed to try and get behind them now. It's the only thing I can think of. Oh. There we go. Use a bit of a strategy to take him out. So now I'm going down this way. Go across through here. Damn, gotta kill all these guys now. It's not very nice. Oh god, that could have killed me. Well, there was a rocket power up there, so I could have used that. But no, we need to use it now when we need it. Nearly at 4,000 gems, by the way, as well. That's pretty good. So now we've got to go down here. So now what's down this way? Oh, God, there's a guy. Oh, the way. That didn't actually count. Excuse me, please. So, oh, come on, man. Seriously, I aimed right at him and he missed. And you're back. Okay. Um, what can I try and beat this first then? I'll just, unless I need 10 15 minutes to decide. If only this was live streamed. But we got Sam, we saved Sam. 
And there's another area I can go to as well that I missed. 92 eggs. Almost to the 100, but not going to be able to do it before I go back to university, sadly. So I'll have to give it some force. Some food to have my last meal before I go back to university. It's a sad time. A happy time as well. So there's one more area I think I can go to, another like mini game or whatever, and then I think that's all I can do. There's just that guy who just fell over and died out of nowhere. That's funny. I think I've got everything here. So now I've got to go around this way, over to this platform. Get that. Nice 10 gems and we can go in here. There's nothing else around there. Oh no, what the hell is this going to be? Hey, it's this guy again, Handle. Uh -oh. You'll have to use this combo power up to take out these fire dragons. Fire dragons? It will allow you to super fly and super fly oh god, the dragon's time. dropping frames. Yeah. Defeat the two flying fire dragons. The fire dragons will grow their tails back when left alone. Okay. Okay. Something for you, maybe. <coughs> oh, neat. Oh, well, 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 well. I didn't want to do that. Oh Jesus Christ, man! The aim, the, the aiming in this is bad, man. Yeah, just trying to jump across and then the camera oh, yeah. looks like it just messes me up, man. All I wanted to do is just do a preliminary one and get all the gems and see if that yeah. is everything I can do. Oh, Sparks ate something apparently. Basically, you get like a unlimited amount of. Uh, you know, flying flame in this location. You don't have to go back to the uh, the power up every time. Whoa! I've got to try and go up to here. Oh, there's nothing under there. Okay. Well, I think that's all the gems. I think. There's no way I can know because we need Agent 9, who is going to be around later. Also I don't mean to hit the blue dragon, I want to hit the red one. No, the blue one's gonna get itself back, because I didn't do that. Whoa, 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 what you think you're playing at, dragon? You're supposed to be on my side! Ah, turn! But then you know he's gonna be here. Yeah, they're just a bit faster than you are, that's a problem. So you have to hit him in the back or just anywhere. Yeah, oh god. Yeah, it's probably just the regular fish then. Lovely fish for tea. I think it's just a regular. And chips, yes. Oh my god, this small one's a pain in the ass. Where's it gone? What? Oh no, I'm nearly dead. I don't know where the dragon's gone. What? It just got sparks and lost it instantly. That's what you call good game design right there. Or because I'm trying to kill the blue dragon and it's just too awkward to hit now because he's getting smaller and I can't see where he is. Okay, it's going this way. Okay. And you have to like, overcompensate with the aim as well. That's a problem. I can't seem to hit him. 
Fucking nonsense. Illegally stole my sparks away from me, man. That's bullshit. Now I've got to fucking do that all over again because that fucking stupid ass dragon killed me when he wasn't supposed to. Ah, this is bullshit, man. Yeah, give it a shot. <laughs> yeah, and, like the hell all those shots are missing. Fucking crap game. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'd be fine. That's all you gotta do, I'm now I'm putting faces and all that, but this is what you gotta do, you gotta like mash the button because the game's not responding to what you're asking it to. Probably Nand, wait for you. Oh, this is going to be the most awkward one to get. How is this not hitting him? How is none of those hitting him? Look, he's only got a little bit left. Fucking crap game, man. Right, he's going in here. Seriously, I've got to like mash the button just to try and hit it. Bullshit, you miss, you f sorry, but you miss. I make up the walls and you don't, and I'm telling you you missed. Fucking piece of shit. God, I can't, oh, I got a full sparks back, because the game knew that was bullshit. See, I'm trying to mash the button as much as I can to get this dragon here. There's no reason for me to be missing this many shots, seriously. There's no reason. Other than the game being shit and poorly programmed, it's the only reason I'm missing. And now he's getting more and more health back because I can't fucking hit him. See, look, how am I supposed to hit him? He's too small, game, unless you make the bolts home in. That's illegal. You can't do that. I'm sorry, but you cannot do that. It's illegal in games to do that. You have to at least let me see what's hitting me before you hit me, you fucking game developers seriously you need to fucking wash the shit out of your, e your ears bullshit can't do that sorry you can't hit me to stuff I can't see I'm trying my absolute best here and I can't fucking hit this one blue dragon <laughs> look at that all these are hits all of these are hits so I'm overcompensating for where he's going and this shitty ass game is saying I'm missing when I'm not missing. Got hit by nothing. It's called cheating, you fucking. <laughs> Seriously, you fucking. <laughs> Stop fucking hitting me to nothing and start letting me hit this boss. For fuck's sake, you stupid idiots. God, you fucking are. <laughs> man, if you work on this game. Have to be. Have to be a fucking <laughs> piece of shit. And it's not bad to be a but it's bad to be not realise it. That's a hit. No, turn around, you fucking Come on, 360, I'm hitting the dragon. Look, now he's only got like one or two hits left, and the game's going to try and make me miss. Okay, there's one. We fucking got one dragon. There we go. It wasn't that hard now, was it, when you actually did what you were supposed to do? Stupid.
stupid ass moronic game developers, seriously. And when they're longer, it's actually surprisingly easier. I don't see why they have to get health regen, and especially they respawn if you die to bullshit, which is exactly what happened the first time around. They're they supposed to keep their health at the same level, but no, they just made it so you get hit a couple times and then you die instantly and you gotta do it all over again. You gotta hit them like 30,000 times. And it's like, come on, man. Just give me a break. That's all I'm asking for is a break. Seriously, I've got enough shit to deal with right now. And how is that a hit against me? I was flaming up the exit and somehow that was a hit against me. When it wasn't. It was a hit against him. Not a hit against me. And again, that's the game dropping the glide. I don't know why it dropped the glide there. It dropped the glide and could have fucked me up big time. Now he's going down the hole, so now I've got to go over here. I don't want to say this is the worst egg I've gotten so far, because it really isn't. That skateboarding one was really shit, let me tell you. Because um, I just couldn't do the moves to save my life, but then apparently I did. It's just something like, you got to do the Raging Ripto skateboard move, and then it's like, yeah, you just you have it in the bag after that. But then it's like, you got to be able to pull it off, and most of the time it doesn't. And that's bullshit, because there's no way he could have known I was there. Absolutely no way he could have known I was going to be there. And flame me up, and it's like, no, that doesn't work that way. When I'm flame... Look, two fucking hits in a row by nothing. Shit, shit game. Come on. Shit game. I'm supposed to be the one hitting him, not the other way around. Fucking f game developers not understanding the concept of what's supposed to be happening here. Seriously, how many shots do I have to fire at him before they start registering the hits properly? Seriously. And now he's at the wrong angle, so now I've got to try and work around to try and figure out where he is. Now the dragon's over here. And now I've got to try and go around like that, and no, he keeps going around 360, and I can't do that, apparently. That's overcompensation for where he's going to be. That was overcompensation for where he was going to be. That was overcompensation for where he was going to be. Like, seriously, how many times do I have to say it before the game starts registering? That's exactly what I'm doing. It's overcompensation, not missing. But they're fucking ass. And I don't understand that. When, once the game understands what I'm doing, it does it like that. Fish down to the molten lava is even. Even the egg. And we've got Twin Dragon Destruction. And that's my mood right now. It's just being a fucking crybaby about it. Because this game fucking sucks. So, let's check the guidebook. We have 425 gems. There's two... I think they're in the Agent 9 area, to be honest. I don't think there's anything else left for me in this stage at this point. I tried to get all of the gems that were lying about the place. I think I would have got all of them, so... I think I just need to get Agent 9 and come back here. The only thing that's worth trying out is this uh, cannon at the very beginning. Though I think that just puts you right up at the very end of the stage. Just so you can get to the exit. And that's exactly what happens. So I'm up here now. And I believe the last remaining things for me to do are in Agent 9's, uh, the section that is for Agent 9 here. So, I think I'm done here, ladies and gentlemen. I might have missed some of the gems from the ninjas, but it looks like they respawn. Unless I didn't kill them, even though it looks like I did. A bit glitched, admittedly. But I'm going to go on the whim and say that's everything. If I've missed, I've got to come back anyway, so it doesn't really matter if I've missed stuff now. But I think I've done everything that I needed to. So... I am going to call it a day here. I've spent way too long on this. We actually broke 4,000 gems. I've been going for 2 hours 47 minutes straight without a break. Um, yeah, my brother has been, you know, he is an assist at times. And, of course, uh, reveal food plans which are not going to be relevant by the time this video gets uploaded to YouTube. That glitched out. Now we get a cutscene. With Bianca and Hunter. Hello. I thought you might be hungry. Thanks. Did you bring any chips? I'm sorry this happened, but I tried to warn you. I had to help Spyro rescue the eggs. 
You just don't understand. If we don't bring dragons back to this world soon, all our magic will be lost. The dragons used to live here? Of course here? they did. Yes, this was their original home. But a long, long time ago, the sorceress banished them to the other side of the world. She didn't realize the dragons were the source of all our magic. Oops. Maybe I could convince the dragons to come back, if you let me go. No, that's not the way it works. I'm sorry. I can't. Oh, boohoo. And then, you know, Hunter's just stuck there. That glitched out a little bit, the cutscene, the camera just looked a bit weird. I think there's only one level left, one or two levels, and then... Of course, there's one level here, the Speedway and Sparks level, and I think that might be it for this area. But, you know what, I'm going to do the obligatory end here, because I've been going for nearly three hours at this point, and I'm getting worked up over this shit, I really am. So, I think it's for the best that I stop here now. There's two skill points in Charmed Ridge, which is right there. I'm going to quit the game, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, but uh, I've gone for as long as I could go on for without uh, breaking my controller, I think. But let's do the trophy rundown. Let's see which ones I've done. I think it's 52% I'm at now, so that's pretty good. Um, so let's see what we did. We went ahead and um, followed the question mark bottles to the end. We fired five missiles in one race. We defeated Spike, uh, we freed Bentley the Yeti, we used the Ice Breath to freeze 12 enemies, and defeat the Twin Dragons boss, and as Bentley destroy all the totem poles. That's all we've done so far. Uh, that's over 52% of the way in the trophies, we should be over around 50% in the game, or around 50% in the game at this point. But um, sadly I d couldn't do what I wanted to do, which was 100% this game before I go back to university get the platinum trophy. This will have to go on hold for a little bit. Next time I play this is like next week. Um, so that's like the 28th or something of September is the next time I can get back to this on PS4 Pro. Um, so I'm just gonna have to see how it goes at that point. But I hope you've enjoyed the salt in this part. Trust me when I say I don't mean the stuff that I say in stuff like this, it's just salt talking, but uh, uh, without delaying the outro anymore, have a great day and see you for the next part of Spyro 3 Reignited.